I'll sing of Mikey Cleary, who in this town did dwell. He worked in Frawley's music lounge, a pub you all know well. Joe Frawley was a councillor full of wit and rural charm, with a mace food store in the shop next door on a 90-acre farm. When the week it starts, he has cards and darts. On Tuesday, there's nothing much. On Wednesday, there's a disco bar with flashing lights and, and such. The local cultist meeting goes wild on Thursday night. Ooh. But it's when the weekend comes around, man, it's really out of sight. <laughs> Oh, from bogs and drains, from shady lanes, from the woodwork everywhere. In book rakes and in motoring cars, they do assemble there. With tin whistles and with mandolins and bazookies by the score. Morons and bones, mouth organ spoons. And a Portuguese guitar. <laughs> I'll also sing of Bridgine Ring, out the country she did live. She fell in love with young Cleary for the service he could give. For twas many's the toasted sandwich he would slip free across the bar, and many's the West Coast cooler too. In fact, lashings of, of free jar. <laughs> but word did spill, as words soon will, where there's complimentary beer. A local spy who lived nearby whispered in Joe Frawley's ear, y Your prophets, they are going down the tubes with young Cleary pulling your pints. They're being given away for SFA by the young ones smoking giants. <laughs> oh, when he heard these dreadful words, his face turned greenish grey. He spoke unto his, he spoke unto his barman. These awful words did say, "You will repay." Without the lay of the money that you stole, or it's lose the old job without a bob, and they'll bar you, you from, from the, the door. door. <laughs> well, it happened upon a wet weekend, five days before the fly. She speak unto her father, saying unto him, Da! <laughs> I'm coming into town a while for to see what I can see, for to down the black and ham the crack and hear some shivery. And when she walked in the pub, she was ready all for the booze. Old Frawley, he came up to her, and his words he did careful choose. Twas at this fair young maiden, he then threw the bloody book, saying, you won't get tight in here this night. So fuck off, back off and, and sling your hook. <laughs> oh, when she heard these boring words, she shed not a single tear. But swore by all the burning brass from here to, to German Greer that she, that she would have revenge on him and slit his slimy throat and throw his body all in the lake and spoil her shingle bones. <laughs> As, as, he, as he was making silage on the old swamp that he called his farm, it is quite true he had no clue that he would come to harm, for she kept crept up close behind him 
was a black diamond banjo wire, and she strung it tight round his windpipe and fecked him all in, in the mire. And when the guardy heard of this, their statement it was quite clear. We have reasonable <laughs> suspicion that one play is involved here. For we found his carcass floating on the bottom of the lake, and those sparks around his wind a blunt instrument it did make. Oh, Frawley, he was buried in a coffin, a cask, or beer. The ghost of crazy Bridging whispered in his tone the fear. I steal your life forever, you chauvinistic little shower. You'll be calling time forevermore, where there's never a 